The president's race is shaping up to be a, a rematch of the 2020 race. Although there are new issues involving candidates this time around that simply weren't present four mm -hmm. years ago. Fox 4's Blake Hansen in with presidential historian Jeffrey Engel. Blake. Yeah, guys, and we want to begin by talking about the presidential race as well. Not that there were any surprises in terms of the results, um, you know, the outcome at the end of the day. But I want to talk about Nikki Haley and, and the fact that she is still pulling in you know, some strong numbers in, in certain states. And she has said that she's not dipping out of this race anytime soon. Now, that could change on an instant. But what does it mean for President Trump and what does it mean for really the future of the race in general if she continues to stay in this race and continues to be part of the conversation? Well, you know, you mentioned that she's pulling in good numbers, the poll wise, but actually she's actually pulling in remarkable numbers money wise. And that's really the key factor. As long as she has enough money to stay in the race, I think she has every incentive to do so. I mean, let's face it, President Trump has a whole lot of structural problems against him, not least of which are, of course, his legal problems. And that he might not wind up the nominee. It looks numerically like to, but if some extraneous force happens to knock him out, well, then she's the last person standing. So I don't think she really loses anything at this point from staying in, not least because if, think about the logic, you know, if he, uh, Donald Trump goes on to lose, she can say, I told you so. And if Donald Trump wins, she can here for the in four years. Yeah, and do you think as long as she has that funding, which it seems that that's, that money is going to continue to come in, those donors are saying we're backing this as the alternative in case something happens with one of these, these legal cases that are playing out or the Supreme Court, who knows what's going to happen there. Um, there's going to be an alternative that's going to stay long into this this presidential well campaign. and i think also that the money that's going to haley at this point is really a protest vote against trump remember we have to remember trump is remarkably popular in the republican party and let's let's face it this is a republican primary today across the country he's remarkably popular among republicans and remarkably unpopular among the rest of the country so i think that the people who are supporting haley are really putting a good bet down to say that we want to find some way to either make sure Donald Trump does not become president in the end, even if we were Republican donors typically, or more importantly, I think they're trying to say that this man is simply has difficulties see going forward and that she is maybe not the best choice, but that she helps us represent that we are unhappy with this choice. Much in the same way, of course, that President Biden has received a whole lot of people voting non-committed in several states, whether it's mm -hmm. uh, Michigan last week, whether it's Minnesota tonight. Most of those people, I think, at the end are probably going to vote for President Biden in the end. They are Democratic primary voters, but this gives them a way to say we're not happy with our current candidate. Real quickly, I want to talk about just the uniqueness of a former president who was defeated coming back and running again. This has only happened a few times in history and the historical significance of that. This, this is actually remarkable, and I think it really throws everything we know about elections up in the air because the truth matter is, you know, incumbents get to run up on their record and challengers get to say, here's what I would do if I was president. Here's a case where we actually have some actual data on what the man would do when he's president. So I think voters were actually able to say, do I like the way life was going back under President Trump, or do I like the way life was going under President Biden? The truth is, there's no speculation at this point. These two candidates, more than I think any other two candidates in American history, are well known to their voters on either side. This is an election that no one is looking forward to, and I think one of the reasons is because that everyone has largely made up their mind. Yeah, and the unknown still the legal variables as well.